sad ending for Sussex. Dr. Scholler humiliates Meghan in her 41st birthday You are shameless. The Duchess of Sussex turned 41 years old on August 4, with royal family members wishing the US-based royal well. Dr. Shola took the opportunity to humiliate Meghan. Dr. Shola said, the lies slash stories about her in last 48 hours evidence how shameless Meghan is. Even creating stories out of thin air. British public love it which is why media do it to profit. Such hypocrisy. It comes as Samantha Markle's legal team claim they have a viable defamation case against Meghan for comments made during her interview with Oprah Winfrey. Newsweek reported Samantha's team's claims that they have actual proof of the falsity of these statements made in the interview, as well as information supplied to the authors of the biography Finding Freedom. Jamie Sasson of the Ticton Law Group, legal counsel acting for Samantha in her defamation suit, claimed to Newsweek the royal's half-sister had a viable claim and intended to persist with the case despite a recent filing by Meghan's lawyers disputing the basis of her complaints. On July 25, Meghan's lawyers filed a reply to their motion for a dismissal of her half-sister's lawsuit. They argued the Duchess could not be sued for defamation over the statement that she grew up as an only child during her interview with Ms. Winfrey because it was subjective and not meant as a statement of objective fact. They also claimed that Meghan cannot be sued over statements made in Finding Freedom because she did not author the work. Mr. Sasson claimed to Newsweek that Samantha's legal team's position is that we still feel confident this is a viable defamation claim and Mrs. Markle, Meghan, is attempting to spin this around regarding the Oprah show stating that this is subjective thinking that she was an only child but that is not subjective. He then said of the legal claims, either you're an only child or you're not. When she went on Oprah and said I grew up as an only child there's only one way to look at that, that she was an only child. Which then as a result, made the general perception of the public believe that my client was a liar and was making up a story claiming that she was Meghan Markle's sister when, indeed, she truly was and this is what this comes down to. Meghan Markle wanted to turn the royal family into a Hollywood celebrity game, a royal author has claimed. Meghan met Prince Harry in 2016 before the pair got married at St. George's Chapel in Windsor two years later. But in 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals and moved to the US. And royal author Tom Bauer believes that all Meghan wanted was the royal titles and fame before moving back to California. Mr. Bauer said, she voluntarily came to England and married into the royal family and she must have known what that required. She had to be part of the team and support the Queen and play her part. And all she really did was complain because she wanted the spotlight, she wanted to be number one. She wanted to turn the royal family into a Hollywood celebrity game. I think she wanted the title, she wanted the fame, and then go back to California, he told Sunrise. Meghan celebrated her 41st birthday on Thursday, with Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge among those to send messages. Accompanied by a photograph of the former Suits actor sporting a beaming smile, Kate and Williams tweet read, wishing a happy birthday to the Duchess of Sussex.